Hello. Um, first and foremost, before anything, on the NBA Young Boy letter to Big Dump reaction slash update on my dog video, I got a lot of positive comments. You know, telling me to keep my head up and stuff. And I really appreciate every, anybody who reached out and one subscribed or like you know just in general. That's just a general thing. But people who are in the comments reaching out and actually care. You know, like that's dope. That's dope. And I, I love that. And anybody like that, I, I love. I want to build some type of community on this channel. And anybody who's caring and a, it's just a cool person in general I, I want you to stick around and i love that um so i appreciate it because for like who you don't even know me for real you didn't have to say that you didn't have to you know what i mean you went out of your way to care enough to leave a positive comment so i really appreciate that and, and thank you this is the gist um but and I, and I hesitated on putting that video out just because it was personal and you know like i had like an actual emotional response to these things but at the end of the day we're human, you know, you should be allowed to, I feel things. I feel like just, that doesn't make you, and it like, it, I don't know. I feel like it's stupid to pretend like we're not feeling these things right now. Like I'm not going to put a video out and be like, oh, um, my dog's doing this, but I'm fine. My dog's dying, but I'm fine. I'm cool. Everybody's, I'm fine. You know, like, no, like, no, <laughs> like I'm going through it right now. And that's okay. Like I said in the video, my tears weren't even drying my face yet. Like that's real. And, um, that's okay. We feel emotions. We're human. We're men. You know, we feel emotions. We feel things. We have bonds with these animals and stuff like that. And those are important. And it's important to, you know, if there's anybody younger watching me, it's important that you express those things. And you don't have to necessarily run around, tell everybody, Hey, I'm crying, but like, you know what I mean? Not express, but like, um, let them out, dog. Cry, go cry, dog. Don't bottle that. Don't bottle that stuff up. And then you're going to explode one day. Um, yeah, no, but, and, uh, yeah, that doesn't mean be a punk. Don't be a little baby all the time. You know, like somebody's mad at, oh, I'm going to go cry now. I'm like, no, handle stuff that needs to be handled. Be a man at the end of the day. But what I'm saying is being a man doesn't mean you're not supposed to feel emotions when, you know, somebody close to you is passing away or something. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's, you know, you know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a line, there's a gray area there. You know, you can still be a man and do this. Like being a man doesn't mean I'm hard all the time. I never cried before. I'm not, you know what I mean? Like you could be a man and still have emotions and feelings and things like that. And I just thought that was important to get across if anybody's younger out there. I mean, I'm only 23, but like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Anybody, even older than me, you know what I mean? Hopefully you got something from that. And I did see people in the comments talking about, you know, their dogs passing away and things like that. So like, if something I said, you know, helped you out there and, and I'd hope you're, you're doing well. Um, I think I've dragged this on long enough. Thank you. End of the sap story, sob story, whatever. Okay. Today, I want to do something a little different. Um, starting kind of like a new series type of thing. Um, I, I want to kind of show you guys something, right? Instead of, you know, watching me do stuff. I want to show you the songs that introduced me to certain artists. Now, this is reliant on my memory which is horrible it's dog water so this is going to be a very limited series because <laughs> there's only so many artists i can remember when the first time i heard them and stuff like that or i'll go back as early as possible so it might not be the first time i heard them but maybe it's like the first time i remember here like when it, they really caught my attention you know what i mean like the song that really made me a fan um but for right now it's just going to be the first song that I heard from that specific artist. There's a couple songs. Um, Dizzy Wright, I remember the first song I heard from him. Snow the Product, I remember the first song I heard her on. And a um, few others. But first and foremost, Kendrick Lamar. I remember exactly what song it was. It was this one, obviously, the one you clicked on. I remember exactly what song it was. I remember exactly where I was at. I know exactly what I was doing. I know exactly, I, cause I was, I like, I like it genuinely made me a fan. I randomly discovered Kendrick Lamar. When did this video come out? 13 years ago. March, this came out March, 2011, March, Jesus Christ, March, 2011. So I found out about Kendrick Lamar in 2011, I believe with this song. This is the first song I heard from him. And then I believe the game dropped the city the city 12 years ago Wouldn't but i think crazy the song came out that sound like a raspy old man a young teenage so this is 12 years ago so this would have been 2012 but i think the song came out 
in 2011. Unless I'm, I could be completely mistaken. Regardless, this is the first song I heard from Kendrick Lamar. I was a little kid. I had my tablet. So I was 11. I had my tablet. No, I would have been 10 years old at the time. Because I, yeah, I would have been 10. 10 years old at the time. I had my tablet. It was a little weird. You know, it's like a normal tablet. Um, and that's where I found, like, all my music. I would just illegally stream music. Because I didn't have any streaming service. I wasn't old enough to have money to have iTunes and stuff like that. Um, so I would just be on YouTube all the time. And then YouTube to MP3 downloading um, songs. Or I'd just be, like, on illegal websites and stuff like that to get music. And so I'd just be constantly looking for music on YouTube. I just ran into this randomly, ran, as random as you can even like think. I just randomly got this song. And um, I've been a fan since, genuinely. And I remember when Kendrick Lamar started blowing up, I really didn't think anything of it. Because I'm just like, because I already knew the guy. I was just like, oh, it's Kendrick. I like I like. Cause I, cause like I kind of like slowly rose in the background for me. Whereas I guess to other people it was just like, Oh, who's this guy? Kendrick Lamar. I was like, Oh no, I knew him off YouTube a long time ago. <laughs> like I swear, like in school when like mad city was blowing up, everybody was singing the songs, swimming pools. I was like in middle school. Um, I wasn't even like impressed. I wasn't like, I thought songs were good, but, um, but like, I met like impressed by like the blow up this, the, the rate he blew up at. Like, I was just like, Oh, like, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? Like, I just knew of the guy. So I wasn't as dumbfounded as everybody else by how good he was. Um, but yeah, so I want to exp- I want to show you guys this. Maybe you haven't seen it before. It is a very old song. Let's just listen to it together. Let's vibe. The hook is horrible, but it's so horrible, it's good. It's so, it's like funny. It's comedic. I forgot what project is. this on? This isn't on Overly Dedicated, is it? It is. Okay, it is on Overly Dedicated. And then I remember... Uh, 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 Wait. Uh, 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 uh. I can't remember. Which one did I... Wait, did I find... No. I think I'm wrong. I think Ignorance is Bliss is the first song. I might have been nine when I... <laughs> Wait, what? Because that was 14 years ago. This was, what, 13? All right, we're going to listen to this. And then we're going to listen to Ignorance is Bliss. Uh, which you've probably heard. That's that's a pretty I big Kendrick song. This isn't, it's not as big as... <laughs> you I mean, Cut You Off is not as big. You go down, you go steam, you boo-boo. Uh, I'm trying to learn some new. I'm trying to find myself, I'm searching deep for Kendrick Lamar I read about Napoleon Hill and try to know God They say he the key to my blessings And if I speak the good into existence That instant my dreams will unlock money It's, first of all, during this time Because this just gave me like TDE flashbacks Absol was 100% better than Kendrick Lamar Absol was clearly the best rapper Like pure rapper in the group by far Like if you go back and you listen to like Old collabs between the Absol smoked everybody Anyway, <laughs> I was just listening to like the rapping ability But I love seeing like how you can hear like he's not as expressive in his music as he is now. And I feel like maybe that came with like one, a lot of financial freedom that he's gotten, but also like the confidence you get from Dre backing you from all these guys co-signing you. Now you're confident enough to do all these crazy voices and things like that, which I mean, he was doing voices and stuff back then too. But like, I mean more so the stuff he's doing now is like, or like, you know, once he blew up was a lot more um, extreme. Learn some new. This is a lot more laid back, traditional. Kendrick Lamar. I read about Napoleon Hill and try to know God. They say he the key to my blessings. And if I speak the good into existence, that instant my dreams will unlock. Money flows. It's only in 480p. That's insane. And by the way, I'ma start finding more light to shed, like a small garage in your backyard. I'm back chilling with a more light to shed, like a small garage in your backyard is a. I thought that bar is horrible. <laughs> like it's, it's a sm- some light to shed, like a small garage in your backyard. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Kendrick. Friend of mine, Jesus. She mighty fine, but I noticed that her heart resides next to bitterness. Always hollering who she don't like and who she kicking with. Who she- the, the, he's rapping. He's rapping, but like on a very basic, not basic, but like, yeah, basic. It's not anything complicated, anything like that. Like, I, it sounds like. 
And I think that just goes to show how skilled he is. He didn't just come out the gate super talented. Oh, like, don't get me wrong. The skill jump was extreme. He went from this to, to pimp a butterfly pretty fast. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so like, or even to Good Kid Mad City or Section 80, like he, you know, I think between Overly Dedicated and Section, I didn't like Overly Dedicated. I remember when I first heard it, um, but Section 80, I love. So I think just like that, that jump in quality for each project um, is very, very, very drastic. You wanna fight? Who wearing a weave? Who doing your bird bag is fake? Who holding the? I remember just being in love with the hook. You do do. When I was a kid. On who? And who need a pap smear? Getting on my nerves, but before your negative energy curves, bitch, I'ma cut you off. Cause every time you come around, you be. Down that whoop de woo, blah say blah, he say she say, oh my God, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Huh? Every time you come around, you be hollering. That whoop de woo, you gotta sing it. Blah say blah, he say she say. Uh, I'm trying to learn something, something new. new. I'm trying to surround myself with people that inspire me, or at least inquire similar desires to do what the T A K E just to reach the T O P. Oh, he's doing the spelling raps. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's, he's rapping decent like this would be like oh it's decent but you can see like why when i first heard him like i wasn't like oh this is the next guy this is the guy he's about to drop a classic like no it's just oh it's, oh, it's cool you know what i mean and that's what i felt and i liked him i liked him but it wasn't somebody i was like super conscious of so when he blew up i was just like oh the kendrick guy <laughs> like the guy <laughs> the doo-doo <laughs> like that's what we're talking about <laughs> Motivation is more than making enemies, my nigga. Oh, that's not your memo. Then tell me why you constantly stress and know how you well connected like centipedes, my nigga. I function with you when you flaunt your pistol every second. Tell me how you press them at the money. Hey, I think that's absolute. So so or is that? Yeah, I think that's absolute. Or somebody else. Killed last weekend. That shit is mad, depressing, bringing me down. Speak on something with some substance. No, 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 never mind. I don't think that's absolute. Rather than telling me how these niggas jocking your style. Oh, his rims ain't bigger. Pussy nigga, I'ma cut you off. Cut you off. Cut you off. Cut you off. Man, that black hippie movement in general, like it just felt like such a breath of fresh air at the time. That like if you weren't there for, I don't think you would un you would you understand. Like I don't think it's possible for you to understand like the climate we're in, and then watching black hippie, schoolboy Q, Absol, J Rock, Kendrick, that crop of talent in one group, one little label, TDE, was insane. They've all dropped classics since then. This is like it's un, it's almost unprecedented. I think the biggest missed opportunity in the world for them, at least, would be well, they didn't drop a collaboration project. I think they should have done that 2016, 2015. I think that would have been the moment to do it because um, they were all bubbling at the time. But they all control system came out in 2012. Section 80 that was 2011. Uh, Good Kid, Mad City came out in 2012. Um, I think what's his name what's his name uh that was 2014 I'm thinking of uh oxymoron but you know they all have classics follow me home 90059 with jay Rock. that that td roster was stacked and they showed that potential from the beginning i wouldn't say with this song ignorance is bliss is definitely a much better example for kendrick this song is uh, but <laughs> but it's fun it's fun it's fun i like i'm trying to not you know take away too much from it but but like that feeling of just something new and special bubbling, I don't know if we're going to get that again. It, it was so like, again, you'd have to be there for that feeling. Like it was like, cause at the time it was young money, Lil Wayne, um, the, that whole young money roster, which is super materialistic, super money driven. It was very like repetitive. Every, every single award show was them constantly down our throats it was annoying like, i remember at the time hating it like i was being driven away from hip-hop and guys like this were coming in and it wasn't just td don't get me wrong there was a whole crop like logic was coming up um you know you had danny brown doing the experimental stuff like you had a lot of crop of new guys asap rocky was coming out in that 2010s period but td was really the 
the fucking sorry the driving force behind a lot of this stuff and um and especially with the quality and it was a, it was a breath of fresh air what the, the things they were talking about especially ab soul um kendrick lamar giving you like a, a painting a picture like a movie he created like a hood movie with good kid mad city it, the conceptual albums that that we were getting from them ab soul with the super conspiracy theory stuff wizardry's doing um on top of just top tier lyricism from ab soul and then you would get more of that with kendrick lamar going forward um he would you know evolve his lyricism but ab soul out the gate was just a phenomenal lyricist but um yeah speaking of another guy from around that time period king los a fin- alien lyricist um but he was around that time too and it was just so exciting like that time period was so 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 exciting and i don't know if we're going to get anything like that again because the pits we were in we were in such dire straits <laughs> in the in that 2010s period and there were great music don't get me wrong but like when people point out 2010s music, they think, oh, Kendrick or, or Eminem, Recovery. Um, what's his name? Uh, Kanye West, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. What about everything else? Everything else was a kind of like a dark period. You go like, you know, talking about mixtapes and stuff like that. A lot of guys, there were top tier lyricists, don't get me wrong. Slaughterhouse was another one. It's another super exciting group. Um, I might put that, yeah, they might have been more exciting than TDE at the time because they were just more well known. Um but them bubbling up again was just a breath of exciting breath of fresh air that maybe we're gonna get something different from what we've been getting because everything else was just like shrouded like nobody else was getting any attention if you weren't doing the young money stuff you weren't on those award shows i watched them it was so frustrating like every single year it was like best new album Nicki minaj best new artist lil wayne even though he's 20 years into his career it's, it's lil wayne like it made no sense <laughs> but yeah sorry let's get back into it yes Every time you come around, man, it's just so special, though. Blah say blah, he say she say. Oh my God, shut the. I'm trying to learn something I'm trying to build it's so nostalgic to for me. Star. I'm trying to feel the vibe of Mona Lisa studying art. Now paint that picture. Life behind bars. Remember the very day I got caught. I murdered a rapper and you found the police report. I love See how raw this video is. Like, yeah, this is like probably where he was living at the time. <laughs> for, like, now he's a billionaire. Camera 480p. You know? Left my uncle in prison for 15 years, no one paid him attention but moms. Yeah, my mama has loyal you as any sister would come. Come to my house just to yap about your own. And the content too, what he's rapping about is like much more grounded and real than not more grounded and real than what he's talking about now, but grounded and real to us. He can't he can't do this anymore, really. He can't, like he's just so far removed from it. But you go back to his old music. He just sounds like a normal dude going through stuff because he was a normal dude going through stuff. So I think that's so interesting. Now he's talking about marriage and relationships and I'm not your savior. And he's in a different position in life. He has to talk about different things. And I think he's great at it. But again, you evolve as an artist, you evolve, you grow, you make, you know, just more successful. You're going to talk about different content. So I'm not pooping on him for this, but I just like the discrepancy in content here. It's, it's dope. Dang, and if your blood weren't running through my veins, I would probably cut y'all off. Too. Yep. Like he's not at a point where his problems can be fixed with money. Blah say blah. He say she say. Oh my god, there's Absol. There's my guy. There's my guy. He looks so young. Oh my god. Every time you come around, you be out in there. Whoop de woo. Blah say blah. He say she say. Oh my god. Oh my god, Ab, bro. Ab is one of those dudes that I just wanna I wanna rap with. I wanna rap with one day. That's one of my favorite artists of all time, but I just think on a lyrical from a lyric he's he's dope he's dope i gotta start posting music on here but i'm working like i'm working so much like i can't do the videos and music and work and then also like sound design stuff (sighs) sometimes should free up for me in uh you know kendrick was my age when he made this yeah because this came out like 2010 section 80 came out 2011 so he'd have been like 24 in 2011 um so like in this video he's probably he's probably 24 he's probably a little a year older than me 
anyway, yeah, when I, when I free up some time, I'm going to start dropping music on this channel. So subscribe for that and support that. Don't be, don't, don't, don't not support. You bet that. Tell them shut the fuck up. Okay. Yeah, bitch, you boo-boo. <laughs> Threaten. Yeah. Threaten everybody that's watching down. this. You thirsty. Yeah. Tell them oh, that's shut cute. the fuck up. Oh my god, bro. Like, the energy the is different. Up. We gotta listen to... We're gonna watch... Yeah. We're gonna go on a Black Hippie Marathon one day. You and I'm just gonna melt in nostalgia. You thirsty. You thirsty. You boo-boo. Like, he's just having fun. And that's like the... Like, there's that aspect of it. Okay, you get the point. You get the point. You get the point. You get the point. That was my nostalgia trip. But I think I messed up. Because I think that actual first time i heard him was a year before that with this because this i remember this was like oh my god this is this is this is it this is super dope this is incredible this is like something we've been missing you know what i mean when this come out september 15th this is like this, this got me excited for kendrick lamar when i was a kid this got me this made me a fan so i would have been nine years old at this point when this came out i doubt i heard it the day it came out i wasn't like, subscribed at that point so i probably heard it that same year so i'd say i'm nine years old if i heard it later in the year maybe 10 years old so nine or ten i heard this again i was sitting on the couch my little, this all i did was just listen to music on my little, on my little tablet and just illegally download music and i found this just super randomly Oh my God, I can't believe I messed that up. Cause I thought, I swear it was cut. Then I remembered Ignorance is Bliss. I'm like, wait, no, I remember hearing this. And this is where, this is where his unique flows come in. Um, styles, the storytelling, the everything, it, it, the rawness of it. This is really what felt like a breath of fresh air. This is, this got me excited. This got me excited. But still, I wasn't like, oh my God, this is Jesus. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Minivan. Double back to his black and blam. I ain't backing down for nothing. I'm gonna back him down like Shaq with this black two two three in my hand. Better pray that the shop is jam like a radio secret man. Radio signal saying that a 187 land on your corner. Doing nothing with your mama. I love that. I love that flow switch. This is fire. Wait, this isn't as big as Cut You Loose? I thought this was like huge. This is 4 million views. That's a, good, that's a good amount of views. Don't get me wrong. But why is Cut You Loose bigger? What? Anyway, what? what cut You Loose have like 10 million views, probably because it's silly, I guess. But this is fire. This is like one of my, this was like my favorite song back then. But still, I, I don't understand like why it was such a surprise to me. Well, not a surprise, but like a nonchalant thing when he blew up then. I, you know what I think it was actually? I think what it was was I was already like I already was like, oh, this is the guy. That's probably what it was. I'm trying to put myself in a nine year old mindset. Forgive me if I'm all over the place, but um, I think because I was already like, oh, that's the guy. He's great. He's really good. When everybody else was discovering it, I was just like, oh yeah, I mean yeah, <laughs> like you know what I mean. That's more than likely what it was. Secret man. Secret man. It was so cool seeing uh Black Hippie in that um not like us music video it was so dope seeing that like that brought it almost could have brought a tear to my i want to see them do more collabs it's a shame they don't collab as much like every now and then what was the last collab between them uh absol was on schoolboy q's album kendrick was on j-rock's last album but that was in 2018 but kendrick doesn't really put black hippie on his albums at all like i don't think so even on section 80 um absol is on adhd i believe at the end he's in that like the little outro he's not credited <laughs> well he might be credited but he's not like feature like that would imagine if it was said adhd as big as that song is featuring absol what that would have done with his career it probably would have took off i think that was a big mistake well it did take off absol everybody knows absol for the most part but you know what i mean like it would have done once for his career more than likely and I love the storytelling here. The, he's putting you in the mindset. This, the video too is like putting you in that 
perspective of pew pew, you know what I mean? Which I think is dope. And again, there weren't a lot of guys this time doing this. Wait, so did I find out about Kendrick Lamar before Overly Dedicated came out? Jeez. You know, and just because... Do I want to? That might cause some copyright issues. You know, just uh, just for the sake of this um, video and the length of it, I'm just going to do these two. But I want to react to Kendrick Lamar and The Game, The City. That song is incredible and was also another one of those songs that... Because I wasn't like following Kendrick Lamar. I wasn't like every single song is out. Like I said, I was nine. I didn't have a streaming service. I don't think streaming service were even thing back then. But like I didn't have like Apple Music or I didn't, I couldn't buy the albums because I didn't have money and I was afraid to ask my parents for like, you know, music with cuss words in it to buy them, hey, buy this for me. You know what I mean? I was very like insecure as a kid where like I didn't want to share what I was interested in for real. So that my parents didn't know I was into like rap music until I was like in high school. So like, <laughs> um, so yeah, um, so yeah, I just would like illegally download things. So like whatever I would come across either on YouTube or on the legally downloading sites, that's what I would listen to. So like I heard like all these albums, even like classic albums, like Eminem albums and stuff like that or songs, I would just hear them sporadically. Like I would hear classic Eminem songs completely out of the context of an album. I didn't start listening to albums for real until like probably high school. Um, you know, when I got into the streaming, I really could go back and listen to all the albums. And I'm like, wow, this is, it's like literally a whole new world. Um, built but like a bunch of songs i've heard before because i legally would download them randomly but um not in the right sequence or you know not in the right i'd hear like um the uh, no i gotta get a better example a soldier by eminem off the eminem show and then i'd hear um what's sing for the moment which is on the same album but i hear it like a year later you know what i mean like like it was very random it wasn't any structure to it um, so same thing with Kendrick Lamar is like, I hear a song and then I would forget about him or wouldn't think, well, I wouldn't forget about him. It was, you know, my guy at the time, I really liked him, but, uh, you know, I just didn't, his music wouldn't pop up. And then I, another song would pop up like, oh, ignorance is bliss. Oh, uh, the game with well, not the game, the city with the game. Um, so yeah, it'd be like that. It'd be very sporadic. So yeah. Um, so that's it. I just want to do something different today, you know? kind of re-reacting to things that I haven't heard in a long time. Next, I want to do one. I want to do the game with uh, the city with the game. God, um, cause I really love that Kendrick Lamar performance, but then also I want to do a song with Snowda product and a song with Dizzy, Wright Cause I, I love both of those artists still to this day. And yeah. All right. Um, depending on what I have going on, I might record those now. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I guess it has nothing to do with you. So bye. <laughs>